What we drive on our highways has changed over the years, and that means our highway safety products could act differently. With larger, heavier vehicles, we may not be as safe as we were under the previous standards. That's why the new MASH standards are now in effect. MASH is the Manual for Assessing Safety Hardware, and it basically describes how we should conduct evaluation of roadside safety devices. So it prescribes uh, impact conditions, test vehicles, and evaluation criteria. Well, MASH was initially published in 2009, and more recently in 2016, the second edition was published. There was also an implementation policy that was adopted by AASHTO and FHWA that basically said that the states should be updating their roadside safety features to make sure that they are compliant with this new testing document. The cars and trucks were getting larger, so the, the fleet was getting larger, so they felt like the safety equipment needed to be adjusted to account for that. So the all the testing now requires a 5,000 pound uh, pickup truck for TL3 uh, testing, and the car got a little heavier as well to account for the, the heavier vehicles, make sure we're capturing the biggest percentage of the vehicles that are on the road. Textet has been crash testing to MASH since the very beginning of when it was published. So it seemed very natural for us to have this project to just go ahead and crash test the rest of the systems we had to the MASH standard. TxDOT has uh, been a leader in roadside safety for decades and they continue that role. They had a very large multi-year, multi-million dollar project that evaluated all of their roadside safety features across many different areas. This project was a three-year project that crash tested items everywhere from bridge rails to traffic barriers to sign supports to even mailboxes. So this project actually goes across four different divisions <laughs> In tech style. As we go through this testing process and we're evaluating these existing devices, some of them will meet the criteria as a design. Others we found uh, did not satisfy the criteria and so they then get brought over into the research mode where we start looking at modifications or updates to those devices so that we can improve their performance and keep them out on the roadside. Within the bridge division everything we crash tested basically had little to no modification to what we currently use, and it successfully met the MASH standards. For more information and to find the publications for this project, please visit the TxDOT Research Library at the link shown below.